once again, go through, um, you can learn a lot more by going through all of Cyker's videos and he, he'll go into more detail. But we're going to move into the next phase of this little mini series and that's learning how to animate. That's incredibly important um, to game developers and people in the gaming world because n almost no art is static. You really got to learn how to make it come to life. And um, so let's make a let's make a quick little video or a little a little animation of um, let's say like this about this ball. We'll take the sphere and make it bounce. So um, let's get rid of all these normal lines. Get rid of the house. Okay, we've just got this sphere. Let's go back to canvas size of 128 and. Like that. There we go. I'm gonna delete these layers I don't need anymore. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, merge all these layers down. And okay, so let's um let's start off with the the sphere on the ground. No, actually, let's start off with the sphere in the in the in the air. Um, and the first thing to do when you're making a little animation in, like if you want to make an animated GIF or something like that in um, Photoshop, is you want to show your timeline view and um, create a video timeline and then click this little bottom left icon. You can do you can do videos this way with this timeline view, but I would prefer to do them with this view where you've just got each each, uh, I think they're called, well each frame, I'm not sure if this is a keyframe or a frame, but anyways, I'm going to set each frame to about 0.1 seconds, that's a good kind of starting point, and I want this uh, animation to loop forever. All I'm going to do is make the sphere hit the ground and then bounce up. So, each, um, each time I do a new frame, it can use and um, it can move things around, turn on opacities, turn off you know the visibility of layers, um, but it can't draw art for you. So if you want to use different frames, you would have to use um, you have to draw all those frames and then kind of animate them. So but we're not going to even need to draw any other frames. We're just going to have this ball bounce. So all it, all we need to do is move this layer each time on each frame and we can create a simple animation. So this is just a very simple example about how you would animate something in Photoshop. The first time, um, as you know, the way physics works is that at first, objects fall, you know, about so fast, but as they accelerate, so they move faster and faster and faster as they hit the ground. So each one of these frames, I'm gonna use a few more pixels. So I, the first one I did one, that one I did two, this one I did three, this one I'm gonna do four, five, six, seven, eight, and in fact let's just go all the way to the ground. And I wonder if we can make this last one squash. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're gonna make this um, this ball squash out a little bit. So let me see if I can do that. No, I think I can't. I have to create a new layer. So a little trick to making a new layer is that you want to hide your first layer um, because otherwise it's gonna propagate it. Oh, I think that's this little icon here would fix that. I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna hide it so that it doesn't propagate it to all these new this new layer I'm making here to all the other layers. So. I'm going to duplicate this layer and and then show it and then squash it. So I just want to make it more squattier and wider. And actually, you know what? Even though it's the nearest neighbor, I'm just going to leave it. It's going to look kind of it's looking wrong because we made a sort of real art in a pixel art dimension and it should have been a real pixel art in a real pixel art way but it doesn't matter um, now we've got it squashed for a frame now let's um, duplicate this one 
throw it on the other side, duplicate this one, duplicate seven, duplicate six. So I'm just doing the exact same animation on the other end here. That was five, four, three, two, and one. No, we've already got one. Okay, let's see how this looks. So now that we've got the, all these, these frames, and we've got even the squatty one in the middle there, it looks like they're all looking good. So let's press the play button and we can see the animation in how it's gonna look. Okay, I'm turning off that. It's actually pretty cool, right? One. It's like a space, space sphere or something. It's all. It's in slow motion. One thing I've noticed about Photoshop is that it only plays animations at a maximum of like, or the lowest you can go on each frame is like 0.1 or something. So I'll send them all to 0.5, and then if I play again, it's it's still going to be just slow. But if I export it, um, or let's so save for web, I'm going to make it a GIF. As a GIF, it can do animations. So looping options forever, 256 color. What's this stuff? Uh, oh, I want to do transparency. Okay, so the problem was I had a little bit of a tiny bit of color actually out there, and that's why if I make it a matte or no transparency, it had this little blob of stuff out there. But I'm gonna make it transparent and then export this GIF, put it on my desktop. Um, bouncing sphere. And then we can just view it at its actual speed. There we go. Full screen. Oh. How do I do full screen on these?